guys welcome back to my channel I'm so excited to have you guys here we are gonna go ahead and set up three farmhouse St. Patrick's DIYs today uh, I already had this wreath on hand and I picked up these tulips from um, Michaels and these two ribbons but then I had the one ribbon from Dollar Tree um, you can make this as inexpensive as you want or you can you know spend a little bit of money honestly that's up to you guys like I said some of this stuff I already had so I just wanted to share a little bit of how I go ahead and create it and hopefully you guys love it um, and if you do make sure to give me that thumbs up show me some love don't forget I still have a giveaway going on in my channel so go ahead and check that out I think that um, St. Patrick's Day is one of those holidays that doesn't get enough love so I wanted to go ahead and share a DIY I have done some in the past so I'll make sure to link that down below in case you guys want to check it out but first things first we're gonna go ahead and pull the tulips apart you can do some by hand some I ended up using uh, wire cutters for but but um, I hope you really enjoy these. I'm going to go ahead and share step by step on how to create all of this. Thanks so much for tuning in. Much love and have a beautiful and blessed day. guys and once you guys get your tulips separated you're going to go ahead and just play around and decide how you want them to lay down on your actual wreath I pick tulips because in case you weren't aware March is the start of spring and I feel like tulips screams you know spring and of course I picked colors that I chose would be appropriate for St. Patrick's Day and I'm just kind of in love with these and so I went ahead and decided to play and decide how I wanted to go ahead and put them down and once I've decided and made up my mind as you can see here I start committing and start gluing um, but really it's just a matter of making sure that you decide how many tulips you want how thick or how thin um, you know do you want it to complete the whole wreath all the way around in my case I didn't I just wanted to do um, you know a section on each side and then leave a little bit of that wreath showing I think that's very farmhouse super cute and I absolutely love the way it turned out so it's very very easy as you can see here it's just a matter of gluing it down um, and I did go in sections where I had my white tulips my green tulips um, and I love that they're pastel colors so they're not too in your face and you'll see a couple of the touches that I do in the end that add that St. Patrick's Day um, kind of charm and I love them so so much you guys will have to tell me what you think And of course when you're done with the one side you're gonna go ahead and repeat the exact same process on the other side and for the sake of this video not being two hours long I'm gonna go ahead and skip over just because it's literally the exact same thing now it is time for our ribbon you guys I love it it's kind of our well not quite finishing touch but we're getting there and I'm gonna slow this down because of course I want you guys to be able to follow along Okay guys, so for this step, I highly recommend getting ribbon that has wire because it's definitely gonna be so much better for you guys. And as far as how long you want it, it really depends on the project that you're working with. I really just kind of eyeball it. Keep in mind that this is going to serve two separate sides. So this one piece is gonna be um, two sides of the ribbon and I'll kind of show you what I mean. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this first piece and this is gonna be the guide for the remaining pieces. So again, I'm slowing this down for the sake of the video so that you guys 
guys can follow along and if you ever wanted to know how to create kind of a big bow this is how I created um, and I absolutely think that it's a wonderful way to create bows whether you're doing it for Christmas whether you're doing it on a wreath I mean honestly it's just what I do so um, what I go ahead and do is I, I cut out this type of ribbon three times and then I take my other um, thick ribbon and I use that same guide and cut out three of that as well in the same size. Okay, and last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and take the small ribbon, which does not have the wire, you guys, and cut three pieces of the same length of this um, ribbon as well. So just say yes, choose to do whatever comes next. Okay, and here's the fun part. You're gonna go ahead and take your ribbon and you're literally gonna put it end to end and you're going to staple it together. I don't recommend a hot glue gun. Um, you can, however, I mean, it's really up to you. I just feel like the staples just hold it better. And since it's wired, it just, it's a much better um, way to keep it together in my opinion. And you're gonna do this to all of your wired ribbon and I'll show you the next I'll let you know when we've arrived, yeah We can travel the world, so just say yes Choose to do whatever comes next This or that Getting drunk on whiskey on a Tuesday night but Drinking well I'm by an open fire Make love on fire Okay guys, now that you have all of your wired ribbon um, stapled together, you're literally going to just pinch it in the middle and you're going to overlap them across from each other just like you see me doing here and you're going to do the three that are similar um you know i wanted the burlap on the bottom um i love that it has that lace feature um, and then I wanted the St. Patrick's ribbon on the top because, of course, this is a St. Patrick's Day um, wreath. But you do you, boo, <laughs> however you want to do it. And you can kind of see where I'm going with this as far as how the ribbon is going to be shaped. Um, and then um, I'll just kind of speed up in my in my um, talking so that you guys can just take a look at me doing it but you're basically gonna take one of those small ribbons and you're gonna tie this together in the middle okay <laughs> Now you can fluff it like I'm doing here just to show you guys and leave it just like that or you can be extra like me and take another little piece of whichever ribbon you prefer and then have a little piece in the middle which is what I choose to do just like you're gonna see me do right here so what I'm doing is I'm basically gonna go ahead and staple it just like you saw me do with the bigger pieces and then I wanted to have that little bit of the green right um, in the middle um, so I thought it looked super duper cute and I'm gonna go ahead and flatten it out so that I can hot glue this right smack in the middle in the direction that I want it to face and then I'm also going to put a little dab of hot glue in the middle of the um, middle piece so that the um, shamrocks don't move around all right guys and I'm basically going to be creating the tail of my bow and that again is if you want to create tails for your bows so all I'm doing is I'm gonna go ahead and put the ribbon the way that I wanted <laughs> so I'm doing one of each of my bows in the size that I want and then I had that extra shamrock bow or excuse me ribbon so I decided to go ahead and use it because why not <laughs> 
and all I'm doing is just tying it all together and then we're going to attach it to our wreath and fluff it all together. Take your pain away Cause I hate seeing tears streaming down your face I know you're strong Won't feel this way for long, no If you wanna go out, we can go out We can hide away just for one night But if you wanna cry, just let it out I'm by your side now Just hold on a bit more Cause I know you only see the rain now Then go ahead and cut your tail ends however you want and that is the finish um, you know result of your actual bow and then we're gonna do one more thing to finish off our wreath and we are done with this beauty I went ahead and picked this up from Dollar Tree and I think it would be the perfect finishing touch to our wreath. So I took the middle part out and I love the rustic wood look to it. So all we're gonna do is attach it to our wreath and that is it you guys. And then I'm gonna go ahead and show you the end result that turned out so stinking cute. Give me some love. Give me that thumbs up. This is so, so adorable. I'm obsessed. Alright guys, now we're going to do a completely Dollar Tree um, DIY and these are the products that I will be using. Um, now what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and make a very fun farmhouse DIY. Just a heads up, it's pretty messy. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take this sign and you're gonna go ahead and trace your paper out to the size of the sign. You're gonna cut it out and seriously, all you're gonna do is a Mod Podge it on to the actual sign. Now, if you don't want to use paper, you can easily just paint this piece of wood and um, just so you know, the shamrock can cover up um, the little, um, what is it, dreaming and the um, eyelashes. So that's something in case you're curious. And for the record, don't overuse Mod Podge like I did. <laughs> I learned the hard way. That was so fun to clean up, let me tell you. But it's okay. It's all fun. Um, when you're DIYing, you get to learn these things. But I was able to just scoop some off. No big deal. No, no harm done. But I love the farmhouse look. So I wanted to um, have it be woody, if you will. and Or woodsy. I don't know how you say that. Anyway, you get my gist. And um, I just absolutely love this DIY. It turned out so stinking cute. When you get done with that, go ahead and just put it to the side and go ahead and bring back the shamrock. Now for the shamrock, I recommend a sticky type of glue. Um, you're going to want something that's going to adhere very um, well, 
The tacky glue that I had took forever to come out, but I did have it forever. But you know what? It worked beautifully and perfect. Um, so I do recommend tacky glue if you have that. And really, uh, it's kind of similar to the Mod Podge. All you're going to do is just put a thick layer. Now this one, I do recommend a thick layer <laughs> of the... Um, tacky glue and you're going to want to put a generous amount um, on your actual um, little shamrock and then once you have enough of the glue on you're literally going to go ahead and put the moss right over that and then you're going to want to let the glue dry for a little bit and then it's as easy as once it dries sufficiently you're going to go in and just trim the edges it's super duper easy and the end result is gorgeous All right, and then to finish up this project, all we're gonna do is take our hot glue gun and we are going to go ahead and glue this to our paper board. And that completes this project. It's that simple and it is so beautiful and it makes such a stunning statement. It's just absolutely perfect. One more chance, I swear I'll try my best to always be there. And I All right, guys, and this third DIY is possibly my absolute favorite. And all of these are from the Dollar Tree, except for the eucalyptus leaves, which were from the dollar section at Target. Um, and all you're going to go ahead and do is pull um, the little plastic from the frame because the frame is all that we want from this particular um, Dollar Tree um, frame. <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and take the bandanas from the Dollar Tree. I wanted to use the black and uh, green plaid and this is gonna be the background of my particular frame. Now again, this is my DIY project but you guys do whatever you want um, if you don't want to have a back for your frame you don't even have to do this and all I'm doing is just gluing it down and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut around the edges um, until I get just the actual um, plaid showing in the background <laughs> To go ahead and set my frame to the side I'm gonna take the eucalyptus um, leaves and I'm basically gonna just cut them and I'm gonna take the stems and sticks off and really what I'm gonna be doing is just creating um, little shamrocks with these eucalyptus tree um, leaves <laughs> So what you're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna cut these leaves into a heart shape and that's going to create the shamrock look. I'm showing you here how you're gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm basically gonna create um, three total shamrocks. Two that have three um, little shamrock leaves and then one that has four. Um, which is the lucky one and I'll show you guys um, how it looks and what we're going to end up doing with these.
Did you ever stop and think why I spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you. Now you're going to go ahead and grab your frame and you're going to put this wreath over it. And then you're going to glue it down. And um, once you have glued that down, I forgot to show you guys this um, particular item that we definitely need for this DIY and we're gonna be putting these on our wreath and I'm so sorry you guys now this one um, was a bushel that I picked up um, from Michael's so I apologize I did say this was all um, Dollar Tree this was not from Dollar Tree um, so you can pick these up from Michael's I did get it 50% off or if you can find something similar to that at Walmart or Dollar Tree by all means so what I like to do do is I like to put them in and then once they are in I hot glue them and um, the reason I do this is because I want to make sure that I space them out the way that I like them and I love this it is so farmhouse it is so beautiful I love there's a little bit of purple and a little bit of pop of color but for the most part it is green um, this is by far like I mentioned to you guys earlier my absolute favorite DIY I love the way that it turned out and I really hope you guys do as well now that they are all attached, we are going to go ahead and put together our little shamrocks by gluing them and then we're going to add them to our little um, frame. and that concludes all of my farmhouse DIYs. I really hope you've truly enjoyed them as much as I have enjoyed making them for you guys. Thank you so, so much for tuning in and I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day. And if you celebrate St. Patrick's Day, I hope you enjoy it. And if you recreate any of these, please make sure to follow me on Instagram and make sure you tag me. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye, guys. Let's just